Hola, soy yo Vicky otra vez. Um, today in this video I'm going to be looking at the last, I think it's the last comparison of poor and para. Because that's what we've been looking at. The difference between poor and para and uh, today in this video we're going to be looking at comparison C, which if you have got Break the Language Barrier Level 3. We are on page 35, 35, página 35. Si no tienes el libro, puedes comprarlo en cualquier sitio de Amazon. Ok, so voy a poner todo esto en la descripción, entonces no es uh, imprescindible tener el libro. Puedes seguir el tutorial sin libro, pero claro, me cubo con el libro. Um, pero voy a poner todo en la descripción. También voy a poner los detalles de contactar conmigo si quieres clases de Zoom o comprar los libros o um, like en Facebook, Instagram, etc. Um, y también en septiembre empiezo de nuevo, sin posible antes, pero seguro en septiembre, empiezo de nuevo con los um, cursos intensivos de español aquí. So, si quieres saber algo, alguna información, alguna duda, alguna, algo que me quieres preguntar, uh, todos los detalles en descripción. Ok, so, página 35, para o por comparison C. So, número uno. For an old man, he has very young ideas. So, para un hombre mayor, mayor is much, uh, is much politer than viejo, un hombre viejo. So, uh, para un hombre mayor, Tiene ideas muy jóvenes. So that is a comparison to a standard. That's why it's para. Sorry, excuse me. Y número dos. Uh, I'm going to send this letter by email. Voy a mandar o enviar esta carta por um, avión. Número tres, he couldn't come, I had to do the presentation for him. No podía venir, it could be pudo as well, no pudo venir. Tuve que hacer la presentación por él, instead of him, so it's por. Número cuatro, por fin, después de una espera larga, Salimos del aeropuerto. And I just realized I didn't actually say the English there. At last, after a long wait, we left the airport. Uh, so, por fin. So it's um, um, an idiomatic expression. Numero cinco. I need to buy a car. I will give you a thousand euros for yours. Necesito comprar un coche, te doy mil euros por el tuyo. So, exchange or trade, por. Número seis. Spain is known for its very interesting history. So, España es conocida por su historia muy interesante. Because of. Número siete. I had to take medicine four times a day. Tenía que tomar medicina cuatro, cuatro veces por día. So that is per. per. Y número ocho. My father works for a large company in Germany. Mi padre trabaja para 
una empresa grande en Alemania. Número 9. I have no champagne glasses. Oh, that is a tragedy. Uh, no tengo copas, so glasses for wine or alcohol. Not all alcohol, for wine, really, are copas. So, no tengo copas para champán. Número 10. We learnt Spanish to speak to more people. So, aprendimos español para hablar con más personas o más gente. Número 11. Uh, normalmente, sorry, normally I don't do much on Saturday mornings. Normalmente no hago mucho los sábados por la mañana. 12. Yesterday the weather was terrible. Because of this we decided to stay at home. So, ayer el tiempo hizo horrible o terrible. Por eso, por esto, decidimos quedarnos en casa. Trece. They called me to invite me to their wedding. So, me llamaron para invitarme a su boda. Número catorce. Ella y Pepe son, oh, sorry, están muy contentos o felices. She and Pepe are very happy because at last they are going to get married. So, ella y Pepe están muy felices o contentos uh, porque uh, por fin van a casarse. So, um, got por qué there and a por fin, okay? Numero quince, and because of this, they are going to invite everyone to their wedding. Y por esto, van a invitar a todo el mundo a su boda. Dieciséis. They will have a big party to celebrate. Tendrán una fiesta grande para celebrar. Diecisiete. After the wedding, they are both going to leave for Spain. Después de la boda, ambos van a salir para España. Dieciocho. Luisa was born in America, but for an American, she speaks Spanish quite well. Luisa nació en América. Pero para una americana, habla español bastante bien. Diecinueve. Mañana... Oh, sorry. Tomorrow, I will thank them for inviting us to the party. Mañana les daré las gracias por invitarnos a la fiesta. Venti, la, uh, last week they gave a party to celebrate their engagement. La semana pasada dieron una fiesta para celebrar su compromiso. Uh, compromiso. Número 21. Amy, John and I decided to each give them 50 euros to be able to buy them a nice present. Amy, John y yo decidimos a dar cada uno 50 euros para poder comprarles un regalo bonito. And then, 22, la última. On Saturday, we will go to the shopping centre to choose something. El sábado, vamos al centro comercial uh, para elegir algo. And we can
can do that now. We can go to the centre of Camothia if we want to. Now we're in phase three in La Comunidad Valenciana, so that's good. Okay, I hope you understand Poor and Para better now. If you've been watching these videos, you'll see why when students ask me in class, uh, can you just tell me the difference between Poor and Para? Uh, no, I can't, not not quickly, not in a, a sort of 10 minute answer. It is quite complex. That's why we do it by in the level three. Um, some, some, it's just like Serenesta. Sometimes they're easier than others. Sometimes you can easily see the difference between using one or the other. And sometimes it's like, hmm, you know, how do I fit that into the criteria? But don't worry, you've got, uh, basically, you've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up as always. That really helps me see uh, who's enjoyed the videos and that I'm sort of striking the right notes. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, and again, something that helps me out because it lets me see um, how many people are enjoying the videos, please press subscribe. I don't know which side it is. Um, and thank you for um, any course you may have signed up for or any book you may have bought. Um, all my contact details are in the description box so if you'd like to go on the mailing list uh, for the newsletters or you'd like any information over any courses either Zoom or other classroom based courses please let me know and uh, te veo en el próximo video gracias